here, Lucas Giolito. Um, you'll see my mouse here on the left. This is uh, 2018, and then here on the right, it's going to be 2019. So just a just a few quick, um, you know, kind of a recap video as far as like the mechanical adjustments. A lot of people just, you know, look at this and say, oh well, he changed his arm path. You see here, 2018 full hand separation. And then you see here 2019 full hand separation so obviously you know that's the one thing that sticks out but i want to talk about you know a lot of other byproducts of just becoming more efficient and you know having more optimal timing with everything so like i said here in 2018 you'll see here full hand separation uh, glove arm still pretty much intact at 90 um, back heels already starting to come off the ground a little bit good direction of that knee um, staying closed a little bit as well. So now what I like to look at is kind of just approaching front foot strike. So this is probably one clip before front foot strike. You'll see real disengage from the backside. And then um, you'll see his trunk posture, good scap retraction, but you'll see this right hip um, starting to open up, which it should. But uh, again, I want you to compare here with 2019 All-Star campaign right before front foot strike. You'll see the angle of that foot and the and the rubber or the ground a lot smaller than over here in 2018 right so we already see that probably using the legs a little bit better we fat rewind to this clip right here the angle of the back right butt to the to the ground which is pretty good right there and then looking at 2018 that angle right at hand separation probably a little bit bigger right so we already see it 2019 probably a little bit more utilization of his lower half as well and then we look at front foot strike touching down notice a few things here still pretty much retracted notice that trunk posture pretty open here um, compared to right here where his trunk posture is still being counter rotated which you'll see in 2019 with this uh, with the mouse area that right hip a little bit better angle I, I wish he was wearing pinstripes in this one or the, at least the stripe down the side you can see that uh, a lot more counter rotation of that lower half as well um, which will lead to what right like we, we want to create more of that torque so when he does when that that spine begins to rotate he has more torque build up more energy to to rotate okay so another angle to look at it front foot strike you'll see right around 90 degrees with that throwing arm whereas here in 2019 way inside 90 as well right so we already shown that the arm path is obviously different but a lot of different things you know that are that are a lot more efficient using the ground staying connected to the ground um, getting into his legs more more optimal timing trunk posture a lot better um, and then that that back hip more more torque more more rotation to be had and then on both pitches finish is good so just uh just a recap from the statistical side in this video 2018 uh well the whole season on average he averaged uh, 92.4 miles an hour whereas in this video 2019 the whole year he averaged 94.2 which was you know among the league leaders in velocity bump from starters he also bumped his spin rate from 2018 2099 spin to 2019 it was 2333 which allowed him in, in 2019 to pitch more up in the zone he had a 10.2 vertical movement compared to 2018 he was at 8.8 .8 and his and his axis got a lot better too in uh, 2018 he was at 210 degrees on that four seam in 2019 he was at 203 degrees which also you know aided in the, his, his ability to get more vertical hop on the ball um, probably much in large part to just more efficient timing because you'll see the arm slot doesn't change all too drastically from there to there uh, maybe a little minute changes but you know the timing leads to him being more behind the baseball creating more backspin and obviously the velocity helps so hopefully that uh, that little breakdown made sense and maybe you can get something from it